why the designs for these things have such large lips. They're turtles, they have beaks. <laughs> What's up you guys, Shortimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Select figure review on the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Disney Store exclusive, unmasked Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man figure. If you want this exact version of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure, you gotta get it at either the Disney Store online or in person, or you can get the regular version, which is still available at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. The packaging here is very similar to what we saw with the other Spider-Man figure that I just recently reviewed, except it has a Disney store written right over there. And then coming on the side, same picture of Spidey right there on the side of the packaging. Looks pretty cool. Then on the back, it's pretty much the same thing, except we don't get the movie synopsis at the bottom over here. And then it also says marvelstore.com. And so I guess you can pick this figure up at marvelstore.com. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so same sticker over there. And we get the Andrew Garfield head in there. It says ages eight and up at the top. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's our Unmasked Spider-Man out of the packaging. Looking pretty cool. Now, please expect this review to be quite short, as I just reviewed this Spider-Man figure, more or less the same exact figure just a few days ago. The major difference is the accessories. Uh, that Spider-Man did not have the Andrew Garfield head, but it did have the fireman's hat and the fireman's hose, and uh, there was some differences in the interchangeable hands, which I will go over. So instead of the 10 interchangeable hands that we got with the first version, this one only comes with nine. He is only missing the hand that holds the fire hose. Other than that, it's the same interchangeable hands. And just like the other Spider-Man figure, we get the two non-articulated web lines over here. We get the 15 and a half inch one right there, and we get the 11 and a half over here, and you can clip these together as well as, uh, you can, you know, not too difficult to do, and boom, there it goes. And the accessory that everyone's been waiting for here is the Andrew Garfield head, and as much as I've tried to darken the settings on here in my camera, uh, he still looks very pale. Very, very pale Andrew Garfield. Um, well, he's English, right? I think this is an okay looking sculpt, actually. I think it really looks like him. You get a little bit of paint splotching right there, and a little bit of clumpage right there over the ears. But other than that, I think it looks like Andrew Garfield. I like the flesh tone uh, shading. You know, it looks like he does have some shading. Like, I see uh, pinkish hues coming in and out around the cheeks and everything. It's kind of hard to see. It's very, very light shading in there. Very, very tricky to spot out with the camera, but it almost looks like there's some little lines or fingerprints stuck in his face sculpt right there, if you can see that. But I like the hair. Hair looks good. Uh, very well detailed. Nice paint shading on the hair. That looks pretty solid. I like the brown and the black mixed in there. And here's the Andrew Garfield head from the Amazing Spider-Man 1 figure, and seeing them side by side like this, I don't know, I think they, they both look like Andrew Garfield to me. I don't think one's really particularly better than the other. I don't like how this one kind of has that gummy reflective look to it. This one definitely has a much more matted paint application to it. This one looks like it's just the plastic that it was molded from. And then uh, going face to face like that, you can see the differences between them. Yeah, this guy's very, very pale. So, and the hair, of course, is different on these, but I just want to be thorough here. And look at the back side of each of them, and then there they go. And, of course, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 version is a little bit taller because Peter Parker grew between the movies. Now, one thing I really like about this figure is that it's very easy to pop the head on and off. It just pops off like that, and you can take the Spidey head, and that one just goes right back on like there. And that is very cool because Amazing Spider-Man 1 head was not easy to remove. I had all kinds of problems with the peg getting stuck inside the head and not staying inside the body and vice versa. It was just really annoying with this one. But this is very fluid and very easy. Even compared to popping the head off and on uh, the other version I got, the first Amazing Spider-Man 2 Garfield head. So I think that's pretty cool. And to just go through the articulation really quick, uh, like you, you do get a little bit more head movement with this guy. I feel like... His head can look up a little bit more than the regular version. So I'm holding the unmasked version in my left hand and the first version right here in my right hand and he can look up a little bit more on this one. So I like that. That's pretty neat. And if I actually even wanted to half this even more so it looks like it's not going to be all tricky to do it. Let's see here. If I can get a good half on this. Let's. Uh, no, it looks like that's as much as I'm going to get out of it really. To get a brief look at this figure, uh, I don't think the lines are painted any better or worse than the other version that I have. And just to finish off the articulation, I mean, he doesn't crunch any more or less than the other version. Uh, that's as much as I can get him to bend. Shoulders move outward, forward, bends at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, wrist moves side to side. Uh, depending on which fist you have, it'll move in and out at the palm or up and down with the thumb. And then he has the great hip joints and they move outward, forward, th uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankles move down, up, and a beautiful ankle pivot. Can't stop getting excited over ankle pivot. And with Andrew Garfield, 
Garfield head, this figure still stands at 7 inches tall. And again here we have Asim 2 Garfield compared to Asim 1 Garfield. And here he is compared to the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Asim 1 Peter Parker figure. And yeah, that head sculpt does not look nearly as good as uh, either of the Marvel selects, I think. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So out of this Disney Store version and the Fireman's Hat version of this figure, I think this one's a cooler purchase. I would go with this one right here. Uh, luckily I have both, but uh, this one I think is the better figure. It makes more sense to have the Andrew Garfield head uh, rather than the Fireman's Hat, which can't really fit on his head over here, by the way. I'm sure you probably thought of that already. Oh, I guess if you lean it forward. Uh, nah, it just kind of falls off. It doesn't really want to stay on there. Wait. Mm, yeah. No, no, yeah, it's not really working. But anyway, if you guys want to participate in my 50,000 subscribers contest and win some cool action figures, go ahead and leave a comment on this video at MarvelousNews.com. Leave a comment down below, and please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment, I already said that, and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Tired. <laughs>